Hey, it's Matt here. And today I'm going to show you how to use UV, not only to install packages in your Python projects, but to manage entire projects, to create virtual environments, and even how to manage entire versions of Python with UV. Uh, and hopefully you'll understand by the end of this video, UV is a drop-in replacement for pretty much everything Python, from PyEnv, VirtualEnv, to Poetry, to uh, even PIP, right? And it kind of exists on top of PIP to some extent. We're going to talk about that in the video. But really, I just want to show you how you can manage your projects end-to-end -end with UV because I haven't seen that anywhere else online. So let's jump right into it. I'm in the directory I like to use for my new projects, but we're going to get started with some initialization. So uh, once you have UV installed and you have it running in your terminal, you can run something like UV Python, uh, Python install, uh, and then a version to just pull down that version of Python. What I want to emphasize is that this is installing the Python version kind of behind UV. So we're going to need to use UV to access these Python versions, but it's really fast um, and it's easy to switch. It's easy to create virtual environments, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, and this is similar to other virtual environment flows if you've ever created those using Python. Um, so I just want to show you how to install different versions of Python. Uh, and now I'll show you how to configure a new project. So UV init is sort of the initialization command. So I'll say UV init my new project. And that's just going to create an, a folder. So I'll cd into that project. And then we'll do a lsla to see what's there. So we have git configured. We have a Python version, a readme file, a hello.py, and a pyproject toml file. So if you're familiar with poetry, pyproject toml, if you're not familiar with poetry, poetry is like requirements.txt, but like much better because it allows you to configure everything about your project. Uh, we're going to do some light configuration today when we decide which packages to use. So let's open this up in our code editor and really dig into these files. Okay, so I'm in my code editor now. We're gonna open up uh, Python version 3.13. So by default, UV is using Python 3.13 for this project. The PyProject Tomo file indicates that it does require 3.13 um, and we can add some details here. And what you'll notice is that there's a dependency section. So to add dependencies or packages and pin the version numbers there, we're gonna run some commands to do just that. But I mentioned UV is great for virtual environments too. So let's create a new virtual environment in this project that UV will use by default uh, to keep it separate from the other projects we might create and to make sure that there aren't any dependency conflicts. So I'm going to do UV, V-E-N-V. Uh, we're just going to call it the de default name, which is dot uh, .VNV. I use that because it's ignored by Git by default. Um, and we'll just specify we want Python, we want 3.13. So running that, you can see we just had a v .venv file uh, folder created there. To use it in our project, we have to run source uh, .venv bin activate for the terminal. So that makes sure that the terminal is running that version, that virtual environment that we just created. So I'm going to clear that out. So now we have our virtual environment created. It's activated in the terminal. If we run commands that install packages, they're going to install into that virtual environment. That means it'll be separate from our other projects. That means it'll be, it'll be separate from our system version of Python, and we won't run into any issues. This is perfect. So you might be like, okay, like let's just install stuff, right? Like UV pip, uh, pip install, which is is the way that you would install one-off packages using UV. You'd run UV pip install that package, but we want to use this pi project file. We want to pin our dependencies. We want to manage these files well. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do UV add. We're going to install a simple package flask. Okay. Wow. That was what you'll notice is that was fast, right? <laughs> it happened in like a total of uh, 70 milliseconds or something. What happened is UV determined the packages it needed. It needed seven packages to configure flask. Uh, and then it added the dependency in our uh, dependencies file. Um, and it installed flask at the version that we needed. So when you add other packages, for example, UV, in, uh, UV add, uh, we'll say SciPy, right? Um, again, it's going to resolve the packages, make sure there are no version conflicts, and then install that into our virtual environment because we configured that properly and add it to our PyProject Tomo file. Um, now, right, what I want to make, make very clear is that if if our PyProject Tomo gets out of sync, for example, say uh, I'm editing this and I say, okay, well, I want pandas, but I want pandas 2.1.1. Um, we had just run UV add. We'd done all this other stuff, right? So now effectively um, the command line, UV is not aware that we have added the dependencies to our PyProject Tomo. What do we do? We run UV sync. 
Um, and UV sync is going to resolve the packages it detected that our dependencies had pandas in it. Um, it prepared the packages and installed them again in like under, literally under a second. Um, so this is really fast. It's a really quick way to manage our packages. We're adding them to our PyProject Tomal. If we want to remove one, we could just simply delete that and run UV sync. Um, and it's going to UV S Y N C. Uh, and it's going to recognize pandas is no longer in the dependencies and remove those. I could also clear this out. Um, and like, what's the inverse? Well, maybe we want to remove something from the command line. Uh, UV remove uh, flask. We just removed flask. It removed it from the dependencies. Um, we can just add it back in with UV add flask. So at this point, uh, what do we have? Well, we have our Py Python project configured. We have a way of simply and sustainably installing packages. We have a way of resolving uh, and locking our dependencies to make sure that our project won't break as we're adding new pro packages and that the environment is reproducible to anyone that downloads this file. Okay, so now we have our project configured, we have things scaffolded, what's left to do? Well, we actually have to run our project. And how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. The really straightforward way is uv run uh, hello.py. Um, since it's being managed by UV, UV kind of takes care of knowing which environment to use, all of that stuff, and it'll execute hello.py. You can also configure UV run to run individual functions, which can be useful for building and debugging, uh, you know, your Python projects. Now, I also want to call out um, if we do like a which Python 3, which will tell us where the version of Python 3 lives that we're using, you can see it's actually in this directory in the VENV folder. So we installed Py a new version or we symlinked a new version of Python 3 with the packages we're installing, which means that if you run Python 3, you can be confident that it's using this version of Python with everything we just installed. So Python 3 hello.py is going to do exactly the same thing, hello from my new project, project um, that it would otherwise. So what that means is that we can not only use UV, but we can also use all of the built-in Python tools you're familiar with. Using UV is often the faster route because it's built in Rust. It's a lot faster, right? You could write UV uh, pip freeze. And that's probably going to run faster than something like just running pip freeze. Now, as a matter of fact, pip probably isn't installed in this project. You'd have to UV explicitly say UV add uh, pip because it does not come by default. You'd use UV pip instead of pip. But once you run UV add pip, we get pip on our dependencies and you could do something like pip freeze to list the packages. Again, that is definitely slower than when I ran it with UV. Um, so an important call out is that you know, not all of the things you might expect to come in this project come natively. So running like, you know, like some setup and pip and like wheel type stuff, um, you might have to go through UV to get that done. So it might be a bit of a change, but it's faster. It works exactly as you'd expect. Um, and you get this really nice project. You can install packages so much faster. I've installed like PyTorch uh, in like minutes and seconds instead of it taking what it usually would with pip. So again, I'm Matt, we'll keep this short, we'll keep it simple. This is how you can use UV to install different versions of Python to manage your virtual environments and install every package you need to get started in a completely reproducible environment. Until next time, peace.